Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the same image that we looked at in the last video. This is a picture of the moon. And these uh, pictures are kind of rare. Uh, and frankly, I don't know anything about this picture, unfortunately. I uh, don't know where I got it. Uh, you know, there's only a handful of choices, places where I usually get pictures. But usually there's no information on them at all. Uh, certainly no coordinates or you know even you know this side of the moon or the other side of the moon <laughs> so there's really uh, I have nothing it's been sitting in my files for about uh, two to three years but it was definitely an awesome picture this is a kind of picture that uh, I don't recall ever seeing a picture like this certainly not of the moon um, but you know there's probably some out there I just I just don't recall seeing them talked a lot about craters uh, whether on the moon or other places and uh, there's a lot of craters that they're showing here and in these discussions about craters we've learned that uh, they're not craters they're constructions very very frequently they are constructions you know sometimes they're actual craters but uh, it's very frequently they are constructions look at all the cool buildings there and the one on the left and you see the top right, there's a crater up there. It's just a small one with a few buildings in the middle. And I think it was in this picture alone, I counted something like, uh, I don't know, 25 or 30 craters. And they can be really, really small, uh, but that's how they start, I guess. You know, they start out small and, and get bigger over time. Or maybe not, maybe that's part of the illusion. And that's, you know, once they set it, it's never gonna change. Amazing how much we don't know, and it, it, I think about, uh, you know, the moon missions when we went up there and, and uh, landed at least once. I think um, I, I kind of felt sorry for those astronauts who all had to come back and lie about what they've seen. You know, the focus was on them worldwide, but now the folks at NASA, uh, they know all about this stuff. It just seems like it would be awfully hard for them to look at themselves in the mirror every day after having, after lying about everything. I mean, literally everything. I saw an article, uh, just a headline the other day about uh, the number of uh, Earth-like planets they found, you know, in distant places. Um, you know, to that I say, who cares? I mean, uh, there's so much going on here in our own solar system uh, that uh, you know they want us to keep looking farther and farther out into the distance and dream about what's out there and let's not talk about what's right in front of our faces not to mention really in front of our faces with the moon uh, to me uh, it, this would be by far the most sensitive uh, place in the solar system uh, for NASA. This is why all of the photographs disappeared. Uh, that's why you never get a good picture. This is why we never see anything like this. Check out the building right in the middle here. Uh, it's a pretty cool building. And, and while you're looking at that, you know, look around for the craters. They're, they're everywhere. They are literally everywhere. I mean, I seriously wonder when I see a picture like this with all of these, um, you know, artificial craters, how many craters on the moon are actually real? I mean, I know there's a lot, but I mean, I assume there's a lot of real craters, but the uh, population density of these artificial craters in this picture is, is really high, so it makes me wonder. see the, uh, the difference and how this structure is raised up above everything in the background there. I have some more pictures coming up. Of, uh, they're very subtle pictures and you really literally have to look at them for 
you know, at least five or ten seconds before you realize, you know, what's going on in the picture, and I'll try and help you out with that. And up along the top, all, this is all we get. You see that dark area along the top? It's a, it's a very gradual curve. I'm thinking that it's a, uh, it's a very large crater. Uh, but we only get to see the very bottom edge of it. It's, it looks like it's going to be perfectly circular. Now, in this picture, it's very, very subtle. Some better ones coming. Uh, at the top of the picture, from the left and into the middle, we see clusters of structures that are raised up above what's in front and what's behind. Can you see that? In this picture, there's two. One coming up, there's three, three of these clustered clusters of buildings that, uh, that are rising up above everything in front and behind. Here they are, one, two, three, right across the top. Can you see that? I hope so, it's pretty cool. Clusters of building on the left, buildings on the left, that one looks like one large building right there. Big long windows. And I can't help but to think in every one of these pictures and you know, all of this stuff that we're looking at, it reminds me of every place else. Every place looks the same. They all use the same structures. Pretty sure it's all the same people. Look at the uh, crater down here in the bottom right. See that little crater? Just a little one. And then up above that, really there's a string of them there. One, two, three, four. And lots of little ones all around. Yep, it's all the same people. I think they look just like us. But they are so far advanced that uh, you know we just we just can't imagine. They there's got so much more going on than we do. It's just it's just mind boggling. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.